Hello. And Oscar's here. Yay, Oscar. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Long time no here. How are you? Yeah, I was telling you that it's been a while yeah. since last time, but uh, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> awesome. Good to know. Good to know. All right. And what have you been up to? Anything you can share? Remember we're streaming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you know, you're streaming. Okay, I was in in uh, Vancouver, I told you. You did? What, well, you've been there all this time? Wow. No, right, no, okay. just <laughs> in July, in July, then the summer break. Oh, okay, got you, got you. I was thinking, my goodness, I thought you were only in Vancouver for a trip. No, I didn't no. How did it go? Was it, was it good? Oh, fantastic. It was uh, really good. It's a nice place with uh, very, very nice uh, people there, the, the teachers uh, at university. And, um, uh, you did know, they, they, they... Did they feed you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's, it was on us, but yes, yes, it was okay. Okay, that's end. good. That's good. Awesome. All right. It's nice to have you back. We'll look forward to seeing you in some of the sessions now then. And, I'm uh, glad to hear. Yeah, we missed you. We missed you. I'm, I'm afraid Zom started her job, so she won't be around as much. Um, you kind of crossed over. You were busy and then she was busy and now she's busy and you're not busy. Yeah, yet. No. <laughs> okay, we've got An Aruba's trying to contact me. Hi. Um, we're using... TGIF for today's session. Okay, because people do always once 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 people figure out my contact details, they always want to just type private messages to me, and um, it's much easier oh. for me if they just use. So let me just do Aruba. At Aruba. Okay, uh, we are chatting here. <laughs> Okay, because otherwise I'm dashing all over the place, clicking on different uh, windows, and then I get lost. And yeah, I forget which yeah. room I'm meant to be in. And it's terrible. I get in a muddle sometimes, I have to say. I'm not bad at multitasking, but I have my limits. Hi, April again. Nice to see you. Did you survive your fall? April fell into the swimming pool <laughs> tightly. <laughs> there was no water in it. <laughs> No, yeah, it's terrible. But what happened with my voice here? Because I had also problem in Kitely. I could, uh, I was able to hear, but uh, I couldn't speak in Kitely. And now I've got a we had, we heard message. You. We heard yeah, you. at the end, at the end. Oh, right, okay. But I... uh, now they said Discord can't detect your voice or something like that here. Well... I don't know what Discord's talking about because I can hear you perfectly well. Yeah. <laughs> they lie. They lie. They do. They're only computers, remember. These little bots, they are only computers. And remember, sometimes it's just a case of um, if you go back to the voice settings now, it probably that message will have gone. I had problems, my, my own fault, because I've been trying to do clever things with my sound cards and I had problems and I kept having to go into Zom's, don't tell her, I kept having to go into Zom's server and then when I came back to this server, it worked. I'm, I'm in contact with them, but I haven't heard anything back. Um, They're always missing around. Oh, I mean, it's because I want to be able to share recordings um, for voice sessions, uh, for listening sessions, I should say. And to do that, you need to either have um, what you hear or the, uh, what's the setting called? Some, some strange setting on your sound card set. Or yeah. you can use a virtual cable, a virtual audio cable. Well, I've tried both ways in Discord and it works on everything else, but it some t somehow it just doesn't work on Discord. So I've contacted support and hopefully they'll tell me either what I've done wrong or they'll fix it for me. I don't know. Hello, Aruba. I well done. Aruba's here. Yay, you made it. Awesome. Uh, can't hear you. Your, your mic is muted. You need to unmute your mic. Uh, I can share a link with you. Uh, not a link. 
I can share a picture with you that shows you where it is. <laughs> Hang on a second, I've just got to find it on my computer, on my puta. So it's in, let me see, I've been sorting out a few little useful screenshots for Discord, and that's one of them. Um, so, ah yeah, hang on. I'll have to do that one separately, I think, because it doesn't really show what I want it to. So, let me do that. I'll do a little scribble around it here. <coughs> okay, and save it to, um, Okay, mic button. Okay, and then I'll share it with you. Okay, so uh, Ruba, uh, if you can see that little image underneath the rooms, you should see, obviously it'll be your name, not my name, and you'll see a little microphone symbol. It shouldn't have a line through it, okay? If it has a line through it, it means you've muted it. So if you click on it, it should open your mic. Okay, and you can always see if somebody's mic is muted. Um, if you see a little mic symbol next to their name in the voice room, in the voice chat room, uh, with a line through it. So try to open your mic. Should we mute when not talking? It is better, Oscar. Uh, mute, unmute is always better if there's a group. If it's just two people, it's not really necessary in Discord. Um, and you can keep multiple microphones open, but eventually you're going to come across somebody where you've got echo or you might sneeze, you know. <laughs> and it's always safer to mute because if you forget to disconnect, if you forget to hang up the call, at least people aren't actually listening in to you going about your daily business at home or in the office or wherever you are. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you mean, Oscar? You thought it worked here than on less. It does work better here, yes, but it's a group. So you're always going to... I mean, I, I haven't had as many problems as I do with Skype. Skype's been a nightmare for me this week. April, you know, I couldn't, didn't turn up for the um, Kitely session on Tuesday. Well, I wasn't able to log into Skype properly for the whole three. I just tried now and I was able to get in at last. So, guys, um, I don't mind you contacting me via Skype. But as you know, I don't run my sessions in Skype. And therefore, it is best if you're having issues to contact me on the forum and be patient, be patient. You know, I'll always try and fix your problems or issues, but sometimes it takes a bit of time, especially this week with the extra sessions I've been doing. Um, how this is not open it. I don't know, but I mean, I can tr I can't actually unmute it for you. If you look next to your name. Um, you can check on the stream. You'll see that for us, you're actually muted. Uh, so you can do some fiddling around if you know how to. Uh, you can go into... Oh, he's gone. He's gone, Lynn. Oh, she, I think. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because... Um, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. It doesn't always work perfectly. <laughs> okay. But in the beginning, I always click on the microphone next to my name on the uh, voice voice chat, not at the bottom. Well, in, in the <laughs> so voice it won't channel. work. Yeah, yeah, it won't work. That won't work <laughs> maybe no. maybe that is what he did. Maybe Possibly. That's what he did. Well, that's why I, that's why I've put it um, that it's under the voice connected. That's why I've used the little image there so that you can see. Uh, that it's not the one next to your name here. It's the one at the bottom, bottom left. Yeah. Mm, how can I make that clearer? It's difficult. It is difficult. Uh, you see what I've got here? And then the other thing is, of course, that when you set up your mic, um, 
you were saying that it was telling you there was no sound, but the setup, when you go into setup, uh, it's very important to make sure that your microphones are set to the ones that you're actually using on your sound card. That's one thing I did learn this week. Um, especially if you're like me and you fiddle around with your settings, depending whether you're recording or whether you're running a session, um, always make sure that your sound card setting matches your Discord um, microphone input and output settings as well. But it's all good. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. And um, you have to have a bit of patience with these things. OK, so it's Friday. Uh, it's not quite five o'clock yet, but uh, <laughs> it's live chat anyway. Um, any questions or anything you want to share? Yeah, I have questions okay. about yeah. Discord. Uh, Last time I said that uh, uh, Discord is easier than Skype because if you want to contact somebody uh, on Discord, you don't have to be friends. But it is not right, at least it's not correct. You have to be friend also to contact them uh, personally, as, especially if you want to have a voice chat, right? Okay. How it works in Discord. <laughs> OK, you can contact people. So, for example, even if Oscar's not in your friends list, you can contact Oscar by clicking on his name. Try it now and sending him an, a direct message. And as long as he hasn't blocked you, that direct message will go through. But no, you won't be able to instigate a voice call unless he's in your contacts. OK. Yeah, that is... Uh... The one because I I wanted to uh, contact uh, Sep, but uh, she's not in my list, <laughs> so I, I can't <laughs> on Discord. You mean and, Zom? Uh, Zep's dead. Yeah, Zom. Zom. <laughs> Zom Sep. I I I, I prefer Sep than Zom. <laughs> well, Zep's okay, but Zep will speak to you if you speak to her in Spanish. <laughs> what does what mean, Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's my question. Well, what does this message mean, Oscar? You just advanced to level five. What's what's that? It means you've advanced to level five. How did I do it? By interacting, by being active. Little... Oh, ah. great! It's uh, me six. If you notice, me six next to me six's name, there's that little symbol bot. Yeah. yeah. OK, so it means that that's a bot, a robot. It's run by the computer. Um, uh, 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 I, I didn't well, hear uh, the... Uh, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said before, because I think it is uh, the voice was uh, this uh, was vanished for a moment. Oh, OK. So was it voice... Yeah, it was um, Oscar was asking about what this advanced to level five means. OK, and it just basically means that the bot, me six, it's not a person, it's a bot, uh, keeps a record of people's interaction and activity in this server and you get different levels. OK, the winner at the moment, the lead, the leader at the moment is, of course, Zom, but she's back at work now. So I've got my I've got a chance to catch her up. <laughs> Aruba, you're back. Well done. OK, you're still muted for me. Now, when I said click on the microphone symbol, it's at the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure if you're on a computer or on a mobile phone, but somewhere at the bottom, you will see your avatar, a little green dot and your name. And then you'll see a microphone symbol, a headset symbol and like a cog. OK, and that is where you need to unmute your mic. Um, so when I say, oh, where's the mic button again? I'll just share it here. I got I got something here. Input in defi default and output device. Okay, don't use default. Let me show you mine. Um, sound settings. Discord. Okay. Set your mic and speaker to match your sound card settings. 
Okay, so if you look at my settings here, you'll see that my microphone is set to my Yeti mic and my speakers are set to my Yeti mic as well. Um, so whatever, and that's what I've got set on my sound card. So whatever you have set on your sound card for your computer, set those for your Discord account. Okay, and what you should also see is if you have this input sensitivity button ticked so that it's blue activated, when you speak, you should see the green line full. It'll be grey when you're not speaking and it will be green. Here you are. So. So it should be grey when you're not speaking like that but as soon as you speak it should go green like that that shows you that your microphone is working okay and you can access those settings by using this oh hang on um, well, in my case cog. okay so that's the cog button where you can set your microphone uh, you go to voice settings and um if you have that set up and you're not getting a message from Discord to say we can't. And also always check that your your plugs are plugged in properly, that your USB for your microphone or if you've yes, got the that's it. yeah, always make sure that nice firmly set in because it has happened to me. I've thought my microphone's not working, my microphone's not working, and somebody like Aladdin will say, Is it plugged in properly? And I'll reach down. And it just be a tiny little bit out, but you just feel it click in. And you think, oh, no. <laughs> it happens to us all. Oscar, I take it that's happened to you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L let's keep it simple. First thing, the easiest thing, things. So first, make sure that you can uh, listen to the radio online or whatever, music. M make sure that you can record your voice on your computer with the voice recording. And when it is working, then you can check the settings on Discord or uh, the other online application you are using. But in my case, I can tell you that I'm using the voice setting input device default, output device default, and it is working fine. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying it won't work. I'm just saying if it's not working, change it it doesn't mean that your mic is working oscar well it does if you can record april <laughs> <laughs> i know what you mean it said help desk hmm? ah so it's not picking up your microphone then you're getting a message to say it's not picking up your microphone um, then you need to do what Oscar said. Go to your actual sound card settings and test them. Okay, you can do that. Um, you obviously got to do that outside of Discord, but it sounds like you've got a microphone issue. Check your recording devices setting. Open your volume mixer and check the recording devices setting. So I'll show you how what it will look like if you are using a Windows PC. I can't help you if it's a Mac or something like that. But um, hang on. Let me share that with you. Hang on. Somewhere here. I've got it. Where did I put that one? <coughs> I'll be right with you. Here it is. Okay. Sound settings recordings. Okay. Okay, so you need to make sure that your microphone's actually working when you speak. In fact, you don't act to be honest, Oscar, you don't need to record anything. You can just speak and you should see the green line appear. Make sure it's set as your default device, your mic, okay? Yes, that's that's another way, just by using the this this tool that the Windows operating system provides. Yeah.
Yeah, if you can see the green wavy line, then you think, okay, that's working. So it should work on Discord. Check your Discord settings. If you don't see that green wavy line, you need to check your drive. Oh, it gets a little bit more complicated. We need Alan. How do you, uh, yeah. By the way, how do you call when you are talking, checking your mic uh, with this uh, uh, possibility? Uh, the To the right, there is a stack of uh, little uh, lines that, go up and down when you are talking. How do you say that, going up and down when you are talking? Fluctuating. Fluctuating, okay. Yeah. The actual movement of the lines. Yeah. 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 Uh, I just say, if you can see the lines fluctuating. Uh, or, oh. when we're, where are we in Kitely? The little green wavy lines. <laughs> wavy lines. Okay, yeah, so make really sure that you have, you have the, lines. The, 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 the lines waving, the wavy lines. Yeah, or the lines how do you, going up how would and down. You say? The lines... Oh, okay. Make sure that the sound is um, coming through. You can see it on the green lines. There might, a sound engineer might have a special name for those. I don't. I'm not a sound engineer. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll but cross it... our fingers for you, Aruba. No, so at, 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 user, yeah, at user level, if I want them to focus on these lines, uh, just to, to know how to say that. Well, if you, yeah, if you just, you just say, can you see any green lines next to the microphone? Are those grey lines lighting up green when you speak? Yeah, that's um, it. I mean, it's basically, it's a, it's just a, yeah. Just a, well, a, another, another uh, possibility, uh, another thing to try is to disconnect and connect again. That's also. Uh, on Discord. Yeah, that's also can sometimes wake it up a bit. You know, at the, at the very beginning, sorry, at the very beginning of this session, I couldn't speak. I, what I did, what I did was that, just sign out and sign in again. And it worked. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, yesterday I was having to sign out, sign in and reboot my computer. So that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, computers. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, go easy, always go easy. Think about the easiest things, not the more complicated settings and so on. True, true. But of course, everybody's got different settings. That's the problem. Um, yeah, it, it's really, it depends what model of PC you've got. It depends whether you're even on a PC. You might be on your phone because Discord runs on an app as well. So you can use it on your phone, on your mobile phone, your smartphone, your Apple phone. You might be on an Apple phone. You might be on an Android setting. It's really difficult to be, um, yes, <laughs> very succinct about these things. What didn't help you in Kitely, April? Uh, Relogging. Oh, I think... Right. I, I I didn't uh, have voice. I could hear you, but I couldn't speak. No line, uh, no green line. And uh, uh, in the settings, um, I can't uh, check it all, uh, either. So I think uh, uh, log out and log in, no, no help. And then uh, I have... I uh, phew, What have I done then? The... the, the, the the what is it the the my my mine is uh, um uh how do you say it again Lynn? uh without without my wireless yeah my wire mine is wireless so i i ah. uh, took out yeah took out uh, that that little thing in my <laughs> laptop and uh, uh, uh uh, put it again, in again, and out, and in and out, and it didn't work. And suddenly, I can speak. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I've I have got, as you know, I've got a Bluetooth headset. Um, it is a little bit. I'm um, Bluetooth. Any wireless connection is less stable than a wired connection at the moment. They just are. There's nothing much you can do about it. So. Aruba's trying again. Let's see if this works this time. I wish I could. Um, actually, we can screen share, but I don't think I can screen share the actual settings of 
I can't screen share this screen because, of course, it goes all that horrible ooh, kind of um, look. But uh... Aruba, have you tested your mic elsewhere? What are you inter interested in, Oscar? Your uh, Bluetooth headset. Oh, gosh. Yeah. How does it work? Well, it sounds like April's got a Bluetooth dongle. Um, those little things that you, little widgets that you put into the USB slot to switch. Yeah, yeah. but it's not Bluetooth, Lynn. It's just wireless. It's not Bluetooth. Oh, what, what, what protocols does it use then? Nothing. I just put it in and then it works. Well, it, does uh, it doesn't need Bluetooth. Yeah, it doesn't need Bluetooth connection. What's it actually. called? What's it called? What is called? Logitech. Ah, uh, Logitech. So yeah. it's a Logitech USB VLAN uh -huh. dongle. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's a, a VLAN, uh, WLAN dongle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dongle, yes, yeah. Uh, that is, uh, <laughs> just, yeah, 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 that one. It's just a, a silly name for them, to be honest. But yeah, we do call them dongles. Um, my Bluetooth headset works quite well, but I have noticed that when I'm speaking using it, I, I've got this very hollow sound. It does sound like I'm speaking from the bathroom or something, Oscar. <laughs> and I've noticed uh. it's not as stable as my normal headset which i'm plugged into on my computer now but it, it it works nicely for um sort of informal chat if i'm speaking with family because it frees you it's wonderful you can go and make a cup of tea and as long as you're within the distance required to make to keep the connection going uh it frees you up totally you can go and do other stuff you're not attached to the device it's great but as April said, there are issues because it's just another thing that can go wrong. Yeah, so when uh, when you lose the connection, that's it; it's gone. One thing that good is for uh, in Bluetooth is the speakers, yeah. Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. yeah, it works very well. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. And uh, we've got um, Bluetooth speakers and it's really nice because you can just move them. You, you move rooms, you take the speaker with you and you don't have to move all the equipment. You just take the speaker with you. It's great. You can even take them outside, but you do have to remember not to leave them out in the rain. <laughs> yeah, because I use that for line dancing, but I, uh, I haven't tried. I haven't tried to put it... Uh, in a long, uh, um, uh, quite a distance from my uh, tablet. I use tablet for the music and uh, the Bluetooth speaker, uh, but I put them, the, the, both, uh, the, both devices, the two devices, close to, the, to each other because I'm afraid if I put it on the, on the, uh, on the other place that every time that everybody moves with dancing, it will, uh, in, it will give an influence. It, it will affect, it will affect the connection, I think. So that's why I, I haven't tried that. Well, yeah, I'll, Bluetooth I'll, speakers. I'll tell you what works well for us is Sonos. It's really good. Um, with Sonos and a tablet and a couple of their Bluetooth speakers, you can have music all around the house. It, it's quite uh, How many what, Lynn? How many what? Uh, with Sonos, okay. So you've got the Sonos yeah. um, hardware. Okay, then you have a tablet mm -hmm. to control it. That's like your control panel. Yeah. You download yeah. the Sonos app. You get the Sonos uh -huh. speakers. Yeah, and yeah. you can have music everywhere in the house. You can even have it playing over your TV. You can have it, yeah, you can have it on uh -huh. your computers. Um, and if you know how to do it and you're not scared, you can even control them from a distance using an app on your oh. phone. Yeah, cool. They yeah, are really cool, I have to say. Yeah, because I tried one um, from two two times 20 watt, I think, and it was not uh, loud enough. Two times 30 watt, it's okay, but uh, also actually not 
uh, big enough, not loud enough for that place. And now I have uh, two times 70 watt, I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> Quite a big one, yeah. Quite a big one. It's like a, like a um, suitcase for uh, in the in the plane. Uh, the cabin cabin uh, was as big as that. <laughs> wow. Well, the only, the only downside with Sonos is they're not cheap. Um, that's, I would say they are expensive. But if you just do it slowly, you don't have to. Where is Zom? Zom is working. She's got, she started, you didn't pay attention this week. She started her new job on Tuesday. So she's working this week. But Sonos is really good, I have to say. If you're wanting to invest in a home sound system and you want that sort of surround sound, because what you can do is you can just buy it in bits. So you don't have to buy the whole kit and caboodle to start with. Um, you can just buy one bit and then another bit, then another speaker, and then yeah, and just build it up over time. And it works. It's one of the few pieces of tech um, that we've really found works well. So... I actually, I actually really do recommend it, if you're really into your music. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah, because you do, you are going to be paying out quite. But you can also buy them on um, eBay. You can buy uh, the setup on eBay. Yep, Sonos works with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. <laughs> At, uh, I, I've got a question about your uh, Bluetooth uh, headset. If you get out of the room, do they keep working? It depends. Um, okay, I couldn't go outside and down to the bottom of the garden. What I, what I did, I tested it with my laptop and I put it in the kitchen, which is kind of central to in the house. Let, let's, and then... let's talk about the same level, a different, uh, a different room. So there is a wall between you and the, the children. Yeah, I was able... I was just saying, from the kitchen, I was able to walk into the office, which is at the front of the house. And from the kitchen, I was able to walk into the living room, which is at the back of the house. OK. However, when I moved the laptop into the office, I could walk into the kitchen. It worked, but I couldn't walk into the living room. So there are limits, of course. But you, I believe you can get boosters uh, that will boost the signal. I'm not I don't need that much freedom. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's okay. Good to know. Yeah, no, I I do recommend them, and it's as I say, it's that nice bit of freedom that you get without having those wires yeah. attaching you. Absolutely. It means you can also stand up to work, which is good for your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's much much fit. It's I've got a little tabletop stand for my laptop, so if my back's hurting, I just. Yeah. Set it up on the kitchen table, and but as I say, it does have a different sound quality. April noticed, so did Zom. Right to relax. Is that the one you used in the beginning, Lynn? In the beginning of the Discord uh, sessions, the one, the one where everybody's because I used I used both uh, at the very beginning. I I was using my normal um, setup. Ah, but... it that was a different uh, sound. Your voice was different. Well, Discord handles the voice differently so yeah that but then when i did use my bluetooth headset everybody noticed because they were and zom was freaking out cause, it's not you it's not you <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, you know lint uh, it is different if you use speakers at home and in a place a public place like me with line dancing because a lot of people talking to each other so it is a lot of uh, noise and uh, uh, because if I uh, used that at home, it was from, uh, yeah, twin, I'm sure it is about 20 meters that I still can hear it very well. But there, uh, it is a, a big room and a lot of people. So that's why I need, really need a high uh, what, wattage, wattage, you can yeah, say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wattage, yeah. A high wattage advice. Uh, the sounds of uh, people will uh, overrule everything. <laughs> it's, I, th I think it's one of those things. Um, you, it depends what you want out of the system, really. Um, for us, we wanted something that would work upstairs, downstairs, uh, outside, and uh, with good 
sound quality because hubby cannot listen to bad sound quality if it's scratchy or if it's too or if there's a hum he notices it straight away i think he should have been a sound engineer a music producer but he'll probably hit me for saying so but i, I really do think he could have done that his hearing is so attuned that i i don't notice it i really don't it's like it sounds okay to me and he goes no can't you hear that hum i'm going no <laughs> Hey, Manju's here. Awesome. Hello. Hi, Hello. everybody. How are you? I'm fine, Teach. How about you? I'm very well, of course. It's Friday. Come on. <laughs> it's always <laughs> good on a Friday. Um, just let me tell Ariba something. Ariba, I've sent you a link to troubleshooting on Discord. Um, but of course, you do still need to check that your mic's actually working on other things. So if it's working on other things, but not in Discord, have a look at that. And guys, don't be frightened to contact Discord directly. Their help desk is very... Uh, just send a, an email to their support. Describe your system and what your problem is, and they will get back to you. And if they can help, they will help. They're really good. So Manju, what have you been up to? I know we spoke yesterday, but <laughs> uh, I just now uh, finished my work and I uh, came back to my place. I had a dinner and I'm just opened the Discord to see uh, whether a session is running or <laughs> like that. I just came to know you people are there, so I joined, jumped into that conversation. Okay, away. so you've you've just had your dinner. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't say I had a dinner. You'd just say I had dinner. Uh, I just had dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I just had dinner. A dinner, it makes it sound like I went to a specific dinner, a special dinner kind of thing. A birthday dinner, a birthday meal. But your, your general dinner, you don't need an article. I just had dinner. And what did you have for dinner? Uh... Egg curry and uh, <clears throat> chapati rice. Wow, uh, nice. I had that practically same thing <laughs> yesterday. No, no, it's really weird. I practically had the same meal yesterday. I had um, uh, chicken tikka masala with rice and naan. So... <laughs> chicken, hey, chicken, rice. Yeah, Lynn, did you try rice? <laughs> try rice. I practically live on rice. Rice is a staple in the UK now, you know. Rice, pasta from, so rice from um, Asia, pasta from Italy. Uh, I, I must admit, potatoes, I eat about once a week. The rest of the time it's rice or pasta or couscous. I love international cuisine. <laughs> okay, oh, I think I'm in trouble, guys. What was the answer to my question, Lynn? What was your question, April? <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't got the, any answer, actually. I don't know if I missed that because uh, the voice was gone or uh, you just didn't, you just ignore me. It is also possible. <laughs> it was about uh, if I wanted to, to talk to some, for example, yeah. can I use the uh, small talk voice channels or yes. MLC? Yeah, as long but, as she's uh, online. And as long, yeah, yeah, as long as you're online, but uh, but some is a shadow. But if I want to talk to Oscar, for example, uh, well, go and do it now. It's also possible because you said yesterday go try it. Go try in it. karaoke. Go and try it. Try yeah, but but I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, but I can because uh, he's not uh, in my uh, okay. friend list. Okay, Oscar, would you mind helping April run a little experiment? <laughs> <laughs> sure. He says, I'm ready. Okay, well, so, hey. Oscar. Um, I'm always if, ready for that. If you could move from this voice channel to the one called Small Talk at the top, okay. I have to go there too. You have to go there too, April. Yes. Okay. See you okay. there, <laughs> Oscar. I'm the experiment man. Yay! Ah, okay. Okay. I'll send you a guinea pig badge. <laughs> 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 okay. Off you go. I can't do it for you. Well, I can, but I'm not going to. 
So, Oscar, if you click on small talk, I, where April I, is. I, I just heard something, that, but I can't see anything. Where? Where is it? Okay, if you notice up above, you should see April, and she's in small talk in another voice channel. Just click on that small talk link. Can you see it? I can drag you there if you want. Each. I think. Uh... Okay, I'm just taking him there. <laughs> now, when somebody, um, Aruba, I know you can't speak, but when somebody's in another voice channel, we can't hear them. They can't hear us. But they should be able to hear each other. Which is why I didn't really want to drag Oscar there. But they can now talk about us and we won't know what they're talking about. <laughs> So let's just ask them, can you hear each other? Oh, welcome back, Manju. We've got a double session running. We've got April and Oscar in one room and we're in the other room. Yeah, uh, uh, what had happened? Like, why they were into a different room? April wanted to see if she could talk to Oscar in the small talk room without being in contact. Okay, okay a a yeah, to... Aruba, you can hear me. I'm wondering about April and Oscar. So let me just send them an at, at April and at Oscar. Can you... Yeah, they should be able to see that you can you can move between rooms you see yay okay. awesome they can told you <laughs> okay it's like exercise to move from one group to another group that's it yes now what you can't do you can't move okay. between servers. Okay, good. <laughs> but I, I said, I said to uh, Oscar too. Uh, I said, like here, yeah, everybody can go, can join. If I was the, if I was here, for example, with Oscar, with two of us, and uh, uh, Aruba wanted to join, he can, he can join. He, he will be able to join us as. Uh, Whenever he wants. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. But uh, uh, only only people who are members of the server. Okay. So people who of the are, server of yeah. the Le learn English. Uh, you mean of the learn English server. Okay. okay. The small talk room at the moment, if it gets uh -huh. misused, then that will change. At the moment, the, the small talk room is open to everybody. Um, mm -hmm. if as long as they're members of the server. So they'll have had to accept one of the invitations or whatever. Now, not everybody on the server is a Learn English Network member, but at the moment, um, that wouldn't matter. So anybody in this voice server could join you in Smalltalk. Okay. So if, we we don't have any uh, private <laughs> any private room actually to talk. There is a private room, but only for yeah. Learn English Network members. Okay. And that's the English radio room. But at the moment, you can't speak there at the moment. But I might change that. If, if there's enough demand that you want to learn English network room that's open to only learn English network members, I can set one up. But I need to know that people will use it. Otherwise, it's just another thing to keep an eye on, you know. But yeah, the, the thing to understand in small talk is it's an open channel for any member of this server, uh, which would include non learn english network members at the moment okay okay if it gets misused and, it'll change it'll just be locked uh -huh. down okay and these two uh text channels calendar and the uh, len radio show that is privatizing it's not for everybody but why uh, what did you what did you put there because i can't see what uh, what is written there Okay, Len members is for Learn English. Okay, the common room is like... The calendar. Sorry. Yeah. The calendar. The calendar. Yeah. That's actually for the bot. You can't... Yeah. yeah. Oh. But every time, every, every time it is highlighted and I think, oh, okay, something uh, in the calendar is uh, has changed maybe. And when I click there 
and it said you do not have permission to view the message history of the calendar yeah that's going to change because the controller for the calendar isn't working properly saber the bot so saber's actually going to be retired and the calendar will disappear and you'll just have me six reminding you every day to check the calendar okay well exactly yes oscar but oscar you don't remember the days of pal talk when everybody could talk to each other and it got a bit wild so as i say as long as people use it sensibly um it will stay open and when i say open um i'm as i say i'm quite happy if you wanted april if you wanted just a room where only network members could join i can set that up <laughs> as well okay the at the moment monday live chat tgif they're only open for the sessions but i could set up um a chat room an len chat room voice chat room for for and restrict it to people who've got the blue uh the blue link if you notice april your name is blue as is oscars and my name's yellow and a ruby your name is white okay but that's fine because it just means that you um whilst you're here you're not actually a forum network member yet because uh, I don't think you replied to my message in the forum when I asked you. Well, now I wonder. I wonder. Let's have a look. So Aruba. I'll just check and see if Aruba did reply. But I don't think she did. She or he. I'm not sure. <laughs> so Aruba, where are you? Let's check on the forum. Because people have to, to be added to the um, network member list where your name turns to blue you do have to let me know and confirm that you are a member on the forum okay so okay i think i am a member of a forum yes you're blue <laughs> If you type something in, um, Manju, if you type something in the common room, mm -hmm. then you'll see. No, Aruba's got connection problems. So, so if you type something, Manju, just type hello or my name is Manju. <laughs> there you go. And you'll see your um. name is blue. Yeah. So I, yeah, I have had a message from Aruba, so I'm going to add Aruba to LEN. Um, let me just make sure her role, LENet. Okay, there you go. So Aruba is, now the next time Aruba comes into the server and she types, her name will be blue. So if you're in the common room and you're chatting with people and their name is blue, you know that they're a Learn English Network member. Uh, if their name's white, it means that they've come through on live chat and they've not actually confirmed with me yet that they are forum members, active forum members. OK. OK. It's, I know it sounds a bit complicated. <laughs> Believe me, there are reasons that I do it this way. I, I do not worry about the colour until unless I can attend these sessions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm hoping that people will make use of the facility that is offered here um, because for me what's nice April is whereas in Skype as you said you you either have to be in a room um, with a session running or you have to be in contact with people you have to actually share contact details here as long as you're in this server you can talk with each other and you can chat with each other without me yeah. running a session yeah it's actually this discord is like the meet up group but it is taking it is taking over from the meet up yeah. group so I, i've but meet up people. group has a limited uh, members and this one is not i i don't know maybe there is a limit there, is, there must be a limit at some point but it's quite a big limit i mean i <laughs> i don't know how true this is but somebody was boasting um let me just see if i can find it somebody was actually boasting um that their server because that's what they call this these groups they're called servers 
okay um and uh, there's somebody called dream grove and which is a guild and another one called cowbelly and they've got um 59,000 members i don't want that many <laughs> I don't know how, how they um, actually manage or moderate the groups. <laughs> but that's a crazy number of people, 59,000. Can you imagine? <laughs> but no, in Discord is going to take it. And I have put in the meetup groups in, the, in Skype that they are closing. And also new members aren't getting added to meetup groups anymore because Skype's not allowing it in a way um they the new version of skype i was trying to find the groups i already have and i couldn't find them so i had to roll back to the old version in order to tell people okay we are moving the meetup part into discord and the skype groups and obviously the um skype english club uh, they will stay of course uh, but they're really only for people who are taking part. In some ways, it will make things easier for me. People can join here, then they can participate, they can add themselves without me dragging them around uh, and uh, checking up on them and getting messages saying, can you add me to this group? Can, you know, once you're in here, you can add yourself to a session. It's nice. <laughs> but I have a stupid question. Go How can then. you join this? <laughs> How can... What is the procedure actually? Because on Skype you have to send uh, a, a new member have to send has to send uh, a request to you mm -hmm. uh, if uh, if you if you can uh, add them in the Skype group. But what is about this one? I don't know that actually. Okay, how to get into this Learn English server? Okay, you have to have an invitation link. Okay, now. The invitation links, I sh if you look at live chat today, okay, um, so we go to live chat, I'm, I'm doing, you can see this in the recording, I'm not screen sharing in Discord today because we're not set up for it yet, but in live chat today, I, just before the session started an hour ago, I put in a link and said TGIF is starting, here's the link, and then remember this is a temporary link. So on live chat, if anybody like Victoria or Andreas, uh, Jenny, Ninecraft, I love that name, Ninecraft, uh, Fatih, people who were here this week and all said, oh, I want to speak English, I want to speak English. And I said, well, come to TGIF. If they were to join via that link, then they would come into the server and they would be able to come into TGIF and they would be able to come into the common room. OK, because I've opened it up for them. I've opened it up for everyone. Uh, but they are not uh, the members. Uh... They're not network members. So let, let me finish. Okay. okay. So at the end of this TGIF, I will change the settings so that only LEN members, well, actually, nobody can come in. It will just show that it's locked. Uh, there'll just be a lock because there's no point having it open all the time. It's TGIF. TGIF's on a Friday. Uh, so the next one that will open will be MLC, Monday Live Chat. And then I'll open that for Monday Live Chat. I'll share a new link in live chat and people who are paying attention can use that link to join temporarily however it doesn't make them permanent members to get that blue color on your name that shows you are an len net member in this server you have to still go through the rigmarole and um <laughs> folder role of being a forum member and contacting me just to confirm you are who you say you are okay now why do i do that i do it because of my experiences on pal talk and i visit i would love to have it open to the world but it becomes a horrible experience for everybody i'm afraid oscar because you get the griefers and the trollers and the people who just want to um, play music or just mess about and there's, you know, I don't mind a little bit of messing about. and I don't mind a little bit of music, but I don't want interruptions all the time when somebody just not really doesn't want to learn English. <laughs> if you understand what I mean, Oscar. <laughs> Does that explain it, April? Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> okay. okay. So... I mean, if you look at the recording from this stream, um, you'll see things that you haven't actually got in your... Um, in your setup, 
you'll see that there's the common room, then there's LEN numbers, calendar, and then we've got Sabre Control. You probably don't see that. Radio Show, Vikings, Leon League, Challengers Room, your recordings, Shaddox, you won't see that. SOS Session Organisers, you won't see that either. Because you can set these rooms up with different permissions, depending on uh, whether somebody's a Shaddock, a teacher, or an LEN net member, or just a visitor from live chat. Yeah? Does that make sense? Okay. I will see yeah. in the recording <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Manju, you were saying something. No, yeah, that's okay. Okay, only a LEN member can attend this uh, TGF session, and and it will be locked. Uh, and for after this session, right? Yeah, it's it's just locked down after the session because nobody needs to use it. But you guys can use the small talk room to talk with each other anytime. You don't have to have me there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And that is. Yeah, I, I think I would rather uh, someone who is using a Skype for communication. Uh, I mean, uh, the alien or who, who, whatever it is, alien sessions or someone who can use the uh, Discord would be better because of voice clarity and the easiness of usage of this application. I, I, I would agree, easy. but Manju, getting people to change is difficult. And I'm not going to force people to change, but eventually I think Discord will just become naturally the one people prefer. Once you've experienced it, um, I, I, I think you, you, know, you end up realising actually this is, this is better than Skype and it's not as restrictive as Skype. But there's, you know, there, there are good controls here as well. <laughs> The whole yeah. world almost, yeah. Yeah, Aruba is blue now, absolutely. Because I've changed Aruba to blue. <laughs> <laughs> I am blue. Ba -da -da -dee -da -da -do. So Aruba, try try your microphone now, see if it's working now. Anyhow, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so who's doing what this weekend? Anybody doing anything? I take it I've covered all your questions now. No more questions about sessions or do keep an eye on the calendar for next week because Marion hasn't got back to me yet um, about when she when and if she'll be able to run any sessions. So I won't be able to run as many sessions next week as I did this week, but I should be able to run a Wednesday or a Thursday session. So keep an eye on the calendar. But if Marion's back, the time might have to change because she's changed continents. So... <laughs> And those times are always, it's up to the teacher when they teach, not not up to me, okay? Okay, Oscar, we can't hear you, no, I don't know why. It's a 222 from me, I'm afraid. Okay. One thing is um, mystery for me is it's Google Hangout. Me. Hello. It's a mystery. <laughs> hello, Oscar, welcome hello? back. <laughs> okay, hello. I, I, I don't know what happened, but I noticed that you didn't answer my questions. <laughs> ah, well, it's always good to say that's one another reason just for using that little MIC thing, because then I know you're trying to speak. No, we didn't hear yeah. anything. What was your question, Oscar? Okay, no, I, I, I noticed on the right hand side of my screen that there are three uh, in a column. There are sh Shadox with yep. uh, with Utich, yep. uh, Eli Need with six, which are uh, the ones we are here right now, and then at the bottom, online eight, and there are some bots. Yeah. And Saturn and Wilman, what's that? Okay, well, the bots are bots. Yes. <laughs> uh, Saturn is a live chat person who's come in, they're, they're online now, but they're not in this room. I don't know what Saturn, hi Saturn, shout out to Saturn and Wilman as well, but they're probably in another server, maybe playing games. Uh, if you can see here, Acha is on playing war game red dragon he was playing war game red I dragon see, yesterday <laughs> now sometimes people forget to log off so it says that they're online but they're oh, not okay really. if you notice wilman is yellow and that means away from keyboard uh Seton is green but they're probably just doing something else somewhere else. I, I don't shout out to people just because they're online i don't go oi i'm running a session you better come in here it's up to them if they want to come or not but yeah you can see 
LE Net members, they're the forum members, okay? And then you can see other members and the bots always have a little blue button next to them, little blue badge. So Fred Boat is a music bot, so is Jukebot. Me6 is the bot that does the levels and greets new members. Uh, Sabre is the calendar bot who's going to be retired because she's not doing a very good job. <laughs> Septopus is good fun. Uh, he's a playful little bot. And the translate bot, that's... Wilman's not a bot, no. There's no badge next to Wilman, okay? Bots always have the blue badge. So the translate bot we were playing with yesterday... And that's, you do colon T, and then the language you want to translate to, and then you write in the language you want to translate from. So you don't write the language you're translating from, you just write the message of the language you're translating from. So if I write this um, in French for April, je ne suis pas un robot. <laughs> I'm not a bot, <laughs> okay? That's a bot doing that. So that's the translate bot. So each of those bots, Oscar, have different functions, okay? I know uh, behind the bot, there is someone. I would like to know who to thank for my uh, level increase. <laughs> uh, well, me six, yeah, there is a person, but there's not a, there's only the person who programmed me six. And if you want... Uh, not to... you. No, not me, no. I, but following your advice, your uh, order. No, no. I, no. I just found... Okay, I can I can send you to the Me6 website. That's the Me6 ah, okay. website. But these people... This is why I love Discord. Skype's got bots. Bots that want to sell you stuff. There's no bots that you can use to make running Skype sessions easier. They're all stuff about selling or or playing lame games or doing lame stuff. They're, they're just one-on-one -on -one bots with a commercial application behind them. Discord has opened up its API to people to create yeah. their own bots that can do a myriad of things. There, there are translate bots, there are spelling bots, um, there are oh, no. game bots. But, there are some very rude bots as well. I uh, what, I mean is, uh, what I mean is that uh, you have to... Uh, let's say program or set the settings you have to set of this up. bot. Yeah. Who did that? that I is did the, that. The... I yes, did I know. That. So thank you, <laughs> thank you, Lynn. I, I knew, I knew. <laughs> yeah, setting setting things up is actually something I'm very good at. Using uh, using, pre but writing them, forget it. I mean, I've looked. I looked at the um, instructions for writing a bot, and then because I wanted to translate bot, and then I thought, well, hang on, what if I just Google Translate Bot Discord, and there it was. So I was like, well, I'm not going to write it. I'm just going to use this. <laughs> and they're using Google Translate, so it's never going to be perfect. Well, not until Google irons out a few uh, little tweaks and things it needs to do with language. But uh, maybe one day we'll be able to converse in voice and it will translate what we're saying. That will open the world up a bit. I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not. It always depends what you say. <laughs> so, Manju, you were trying to take the mic. What were you going to say or ask? No, uh, I agree that uh, one day we can uh, just speak and we will get a, a translated uh, replay back. Uh, Google might do that. <laughs> yeah, well, you can do it with the um, app on the phone, but the translations can be really horrendous. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll do experience with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, uh, you've only got to you've only got to use the translate bot and translate many times between the two different languages, and then you'll realize in your, when it comes back to your own language on the fifth or sixth iteration, you'll realize, oh my goodness, that's not what I said originally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they're useful. Uh, they're useful for getting an idea of what's being said, getting the gist of a message, and then you have to clarify with the person, or maybe ask somebody who speaks the language, "Have I understood this correctly?" But I, I do use translation um, when I'm learning German. Whilst I'm learning German, I do use it. So I, I think it's a useful tool to have. But don't trust it. It's like a spelling checker you can't actually rely on it yet not yet <laughs> okay 
if I click on translate, a, a new uh, window opens and I cannot do the same as you did before. So, I mean, to display here in this chat. Okay, uh, you have yeah. to do, can you see above the translate bot message, je ne suis pas un robot, can you see I wrote something? Can you see the message I wrote, Oscar? And it started with yeah. colon. No, T. no, no. Uh, just the the French message. Hey, really? Okay. Well, what you need to do is um, follow my instructions. So, right, type colon T like that. Colon T, yeah. Ah, oh, col. Colon. That's the two dots together. That's a semicolon, and that's a colon. Ah, oh, okay, okay, colon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then followed directly by T, then a space. Yeah. Then the language. So German, French, it's got to be in English, but German, oh, French, okay. Dutch, yeah. And then your message. I okay. am not a robot. So I'm going to do the same oh, message in German. Tea. Ich bin kein Spanish. Roboter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Como esta? <laughs> uh, so, so you see the uh, what I actually uh, typed. Yes. Not the translation. No, I see the translation as well. I can see uh, T Spanish Hola amigos, and then it translates Hola amigos. Why? Oh, I. Oh, yeah, because look, you I... typed it in Spanish. So what you yeah. need to do, you do colon T Spanish, and then hello friends. Okay. Okay. You yeah. type the message in the language yeah. you want to translate from, and after the T, you type the language you want it to translate to. Okay. So for your Spanish, you do T yeah. English. Yeah. Hola, amigos. You see? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I can see just one line in here now. The 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 English, the American English here. Yeah. Okay. Well, above it, I, can, I, I cannot see. I I cannot see both lines. What you actually wrote, and the translation. I just well, that's, that's see, unusual. Well, but anyway, it doesn't matter if you watch the um, replay because I am well. I hope it's streaming okay. I did have a few issues with streaming this week, but we can only hope. Um, if you watch the replay, you will see the messages so okay. you do okay colon t that tells the bot i want to translate something then the language you want to translate to and then the message that you want translated so in whatever language so the first time you did it you actually said i want to translate hola amigos into spanish excellent pronunciation <laughs> very good hola. <laughs> well done i've been speaking with Sam a lot <laughs> 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 she's really doing well in her Spanish, you know. She she's um a member of a Spanish Viking clan and they thought she was a Spanish teenager. It's so funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was very happy, as you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cool. Okay. So um let's see. Welcome back, Aruba. I'm sorry your mic looks like it's still not working but i have added you to the le net members list now so um we're getting there we're getting there hopefully at some point you'll be able to speak to us because i do want to speak to you that's the whole point of having these sessions i mean we can chat text chat in live chat or in the forum uh, this really is all about the voice to be honest but oscar um so it's working we're we're developing it as you can see some of the bots will come and go as we try them out and we like them or don't like them so as i said saber um is going to be kicked because she's not working very well um but we we run some of the music sessions using the jukebox and you can share your music with each other and listen to it together which is really nice as well and septopus is a great bot i have to say i think septopus is my favorite bot because He's a bit random, uh, but once you learn the bot commands, that's important when you're using these bots in Discord, you need to know what command it uses. So, for example, the translate bot, what triggers it is the colon. OK, that colon says, hello, wake up, I want something. And for Septopus, um, you kind of need 
uh, to have, hang on, here you are, you have to have a different command and that's at, okay? So I'm going to do that, let's hope it works. Okay, so I asked Septopus to make a comic, comic about a recent message uh, of seven messages. And what it does is it creates the comic and then it creates it and gives you the um, link in its Imgur uh, oh. account. Okay, so. We've oh, okay, <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> A great. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what another reason why we use? Uh, well, the script <laughs> should, uh, should Im improve a, bit, a little bit, but that's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can have if you were doing a role play, maybe. Okay, uh, uh, I think yeah. you can only go up to ten. Ten. So the previous message is ten. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I love it. So let me just give it a day yes. and I'll save that one. And it can be very random. The, the characters are random. Um, the yeah, it's just a randomized comic creator. All it does is it takes the text and puts it into yeah, uh, fr from the, the previews. Yeah. Yeah. From whatever you did. So if you notice, yeah. if I, wrote, I wrote at Septopus comic and then I put the number seven. So it took the last seven um messages so it's 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 as yeah it's yeah, just, amazing it's it is. <laughs> yeah <laughs> by the way uh, i am very uh, a bit thick today it works perfectly uh, above the the translation there is the you can see the previous message uh, everything is working fine good <laughs> glad to see it <laughs> Exactly. I mean, it's not about being thick. It's it's about getting used to it. I kind of yeah. I've been using this all the time since we started it. And you know, if you've only come in a couple of times, then you were away for ages. You'll get used to it. You will get used to it. So it's good fun. It says German. I'm not a robot. Spanish. Hola, amigos. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> Spanish. Hello, friends. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Hola, amigos. <laughs> and the two first. Uh... <laughs> Maybe in the future we'll have more meaningful yeah. conversations than that. <laughs> okay, that's oh, great. My oh, my goodness. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to finish so let's go to the activity page and we'll have a look at this week's leaders who are the leaders this week oh hang on no that's gone wrong i didn't mean to do that and i'll just close that down a bit oh i'll scroll has it disappeared that seems to have disappeared off the side oh no I've broken it. Oh, no, there it is. OK, so um, I've got a different some different names. So it's really exciting in. Let me see how many joints. OK, we've got one joint pair, two joint pairs. So in eighth place with 14 points, we've got Eva in seventh place with 18 points. Niddy, well done, Niddy. Uh, in sixth place with 19 points, we've got Marion. And in fifth place with 20 points, Safa, well done. Then joint fourth place, it's Nomad and myself with 23 points. Paulette is in third place with 29 points. And Sananda and Chloe are in second place with 30 points. And at the top, with an amazing 64 points, is Elancer. Well done, Elancer. That's really good. Uh, it's relatively new as well, so awesome. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's, it's it's one of those things. I could carry on TGIF for the whole evening, but, you know, I've got to have a life too. So it's been a pleasure. Um, and a shout out to everybody who's got voice issues. As I say, don't be frightened of contacting um, Discord help directly because we can try and help you, but they really know this 
stuff forward and backwards and if you've got the problem they've probably seen it before and they should be able to help you but give them as much information as you can operating system microphone setup maybe some screenshots and then they'll tell you <laughs> if there's anything that you can do it can sometimes just be your connection but generally i found if you can be here and text you should be able to and you can hear definitely you should be able to speak as well okay anyway um you know none of them except me and Nidhi. Well, there you go. Okay, that's too much information, April. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Come and tell me what you've done over the weekend. Come and take the microphone off me. <laughs> is there a Discord group on the forum? No, there's a join us. The join us group is the Discord group. So if you look under join us. Um, then you'll find the Discord sessions are there and the live chat sessions um, are the Friday and the Monday sessions and then there's the other sessions but this Discord is also the backup for Skype and other sessions at the moment so if everything else fails like in Kitely last night neither Bob uh, nor Manju could get their voice working so we all came over to Discord to continue the conversation okay and um so that kind of works okay so thank you for coming i'll see you all sometime next week have a great weekend or rest of your weekend if you've already started it and i'll speak to you next week sometime bye thanks bye have a nice weekend bye, yeah, and don't forget bye. yeah don't forget to hang up okay disconnect that's important you need to press the disconnect button uh, to actually leave the call a bit like in Skype okay and if you want to log out completely you use the little cog button okay but it's really important that you use the hang up button um, to actually leave the call otherwise people have been known to hear people playing around messing around at home and the kids screaming and <laughs> you don't want that <laughs> okay bye bye Aruba Bye, Lynn. Happy weekend. Bye, Manju. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Good evening. It's Hello. TGIF. Hello. And Oscar's here. Yay, Oscar. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks. Long time no here. How are you? Yeah. I was telling you that it's been a while from yeah. since last time, but uh, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> awesome. Good to know. Good to know. All right. And what have you been up to? Anything you can share? Remember we're streaming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, you know you're streaming. Okay, I was in in uh, Vancouver. I told you. You did. What well, you've been there all this time? Wow. No, oh, right, no, okay. just <laughs> in July. In July, then the summer break. Oh, okay, got you, got you. I was thinking, my goodness, I thought you were only in Vancouver for a trip. No, I didn't no. How did it go? Was it was it good? Oh, fantastic. It was uh, really good. It's a nice place with uh, very, very nice uh, people there, the, the teachers uh, at university. And, and uh, you know, they, they, they... Did they feed you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's it was on us, but yes, yes, it was okay. Okay, that's end. good. That's good. Awesome. All right. It's nice to have you back. We'll look forward to seeing you in some of the sessions now then. And, I'm um, glad to hear. Yeah, we missed you. We missed you. <laughs> I'm afraid Zom started her job, so she won't be around as much. Um, you kind of crossed over. You were busy and then she was busy and now she's busy and you're not busy. Yeah, again. No. <laughs> okay, we've got An Aruba's trying to contact me. Hi. Um, we're using... TGIF for today's session. Okay, because people do always once 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 people figure out my contact details, they always want to just 
type private messages to me and um, it's much easier oh. for me if they just use so let me just do Aruba, at Aruba. okay uh, we are chatting here <laughs> okay because otherwise I'm dashing all over the place clicking on different uh, windows and then i get lost and yeah, i forget which yeah. room i'm meant to be in and it's terrible i get in a muddle sometimes i have to say i'm not bad at multitasking but i have my limits hi april again nice to see you did you survive your fall april fell into the swimming pool and <laughs> tightly <laughs> there was no water in it <laughs> no yeah it's terrible but what happened with my voice here because i had also problem in kitely i could uh, I was able to hear, but uh, I couldn't speak in kindly. And now I've got the oh, we had, we heard message. You. We heard you. Yeah, at the end, at the end. Oh, right. Okay. But I... uh, now they said Discord can detect your voice or something like that here. Well, I don't know what Discord's talking about because I can hear you perfectly well. Yeah. <laughs> They lie, they lie. They do. They're only computers, remember. These little bots, they are only computers. And remember, sometimes it's just a case of um, if you go back to the voice settings now, it probably that message will have gone. I had problems, my, my own fault, because I've been trying to do clever things with my sound cards. And I had problems and I kept having to go into Zom's, don't tell her, I kept having to go into Zom's server and then when I came back to this server, it worked. I'm, I'm in contact with them, but I haven't heard anything back. Um, They're always missing around. Oh, I mean, it's because I want to be able to share recordings um, for voice sessions, uh, for listening sessions, I should say. And to do that, you need to either have um, what you hear or the... Uh, what's the setting called? Some some strange setting on your sound card set. Or yeah. you can use a virtual cable, a virtual audio cable. Well, I've tried both ways in Discord and it works on everything else, but it some somehow it just doesn't work on Discord. So I've contacted support and hopefully they'll tell me either what I've done wrong or they'll fix it for me. I don't know. Hello, Aruba. I well done. Aruba's here. Yay! made it awesome uh can't hear you your your mic is muted you need to unmute your mic uh i can share a link with you uh not a link i can share a picture with you that shows you where it is <laughs> hang on a second i've just got to find it on my computer on my puta so it's in let me see i've been sorting out a few little useful screenshots for discord and that's there we'll get there and um you have to have a bit of patience with these things okay so it's friday uh it's not quite five o'clock yet but uh <laughs> it's live chat anyway um any questions or anything you want to share yeah i have questions okay about yeah. discord uh Last time I said that uh, uh, Discord is easier than Skype because if you want to contact somebody uh, on Discord, you don't have to be friends. But it is not right, and it's not correct. You have to be friend also to contact them uh, personally, as, especially if you want to have a voice chat, right? Okay. How it works in Discord. <laughs> OK, you can contact people. So, for example, even if Oscar's not in your friends list, you can contact Oscar by clicking on his name. Try it now and sending him an, a direct message. And as long as he hasn't blocked you, that direct message will go through. But no, you won't be able to instigate a voice call unless he's in your contacts. OK. Yeah, that is... Uh... The one because I I wanted to uh, contact uh, Sepp, but uh, she's not in my list, <laughs> so I, I can't <laughs> on Discord. You mean and, Zom? Uh, Zepstead. Yeah, Zom. Zom. <laughs> Zom Sepp. I I I I prefer Sepp than Zom. <laughs> well, Zepp's okay, but Zepp will speak to you if you speak to her in Spanish. <laughs> 
What does what mean, Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's my question. What? What does this message mean? Oscar, you just advanced to level 5. What's, what's that? It means you've advanced to level 5. How did I do it? By interacting, by being active. It's a little... Oh, ah. great. It's uh, me6. If you notice me6, next to me6's name, there's that little symbol bot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So it means that that's a bot, a robot. It's run by the computer. Um, uh, 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 I, I didn't oh, hear the. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said before because I think it is uh, the voice was uh, this uh, was vanished for a moment. One of them. Um, so, ah, yeah. Hang on. I'll have to do that one separately. I think because it doesn't really show what I want it to so let me do that I'll do a little scribble around it here okay and save it to um okay like button okay and then I'll share it with you Okay, so Aruba, uh, if you can see that little image underneath the rooms, you should see, obviously it'll be your name, not my name, and you'll see a little microphone symbol. It shouldn't have a line through it, okay? <coughs> if it has a line through it, it means you've muted it. So if you click on it, it should open your mic. Okay, and you can always see if somebody's mic is muted, um, if you see a little mic symbol next to their name in the voice room in the voice chat room uh, with a line through it so try to open your mic should we mute when not talking it is better oscar uh, mute unmute is always better if there's a group if it's just two people it's not really necessary in discord um, and you can keep multiple microphones open but eventually you're going to come across somebody where you've got echo or you might sneeze, you know, <laughs> and it's always safer to mute because if you forget to disconnect, if you forget to hang up the call, at least people aren't actually listening in to you going about your daily business at home or in the office or wherever you are. <laughs> OK. Um, what do you mean, Oscar? You thought it worked here than... On less. It does work better here, yes, but it's a group. So you're always going to. I mean, I, I haven't had as many problems as I do with Skype. Skype's been a nightmare for me this week. April, you know, I couldn't, didn't turn up for the um, Kitely session on Tuesday. Well, I wasn't able to log into Skype properly for the whole three. I just tried now and I was able to get in at last. So, guys, um, I don't mind you contacting me via Skype, but as you know, I don't run my sessions in Skype. And therefore, it is best if you're having issues to contact me on the forum and be patient, be patient. You know, I'll always try and fix your problems or issues, but sometimes it takes a bit of time, especially this week with the extra sessions I've been doing. Um, how this is not open it. I don't know, Aruba. I mean, I can tr I can't actually unmute it for you. If you look next to your name, um, you can check on the stream. You'll see that for us, you're actually muted. Uh, so you can do some fiddling around if you know how to. Uh, you can go into... Oh, he's gone. He's gone, Lynn. Oh, she, I think. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because... Um, yeah, never mind. Never mind. It doesn't always work perfectly. <laughs> Okay. But in the beginning, I always click on the microphone next to my name on the uh, voice voice chat, not at the bottom. Well, in, in the actual <laughs> so voice it channel. won't work. Yeah, yeah. it won't work. That won't work. <laughs> maybe, no. maybe that is what he did. Maybe Possibly. Well, that's why I, that's why I've put it um, that it's under the voice connected 
that's why I've used the little image there so that you can see uh, that it's not the one next to your name here it's the one at the bottom bottom left yeah mm, how can I make that clearer it's difficult it is difficult uh, you see what I've got here and then the other thing is of course that when you set up your mic um, you were saying that it was telling you there was no sound but the setup when you go into setup uh, it's very important to make sure that your microphones are set to the ones that you're actually using on your sound card that's one thing I did learn this week um, especially if you're like me and you fiddle around with your settings depending whether you're recording or whether you're running a session um, always make sure that your sound card setting matches your discord um, microphone input and output settings as well but it's all good we'll, we'll get there